I swear, like, I feel like these lights give more shadow than they actually light up the desk. There we go. So we're gonna use our newer sculpture nail forms. Do you guys love them? They have black lines on them because the black actually makes it easier for you to see what you're doing. Hi, Miss Virgo. Hopefully, you guys are your health is getting improving and doing better. No more COVID for you, please. We're sending you lots of healing prayers. So when you're doing your own nails, this is an easy little hack on how to apply the form. Our, of course, are pre-cut already too, so that way you have an easier time applying the form. And I already have my peel-off face coat. And you guys know me, I love a good sculpted nail that's really skinny. Make sure it's straight, not wonky. And then we're going to take Mr. Pinchy. Mr. Pinchy is essential when we're doing our acrylic nails. And we're going to pinch the form so that way it starts building in the really deep C curve in the phalange fantasy. And look at that, how tight it is. There's absolutely no gap between the form and the natural nail, which is what we want. And we also want the form. You see the lines? They're there for a reason. we got to follow those lines and make sure it is really nice and straight. So let us... Get our Lux Brush White ready. We've got Pink Magic here, ready to go. And then I'm going to do the White Christmas Glitter Acrylic. Look at that, she's got snowflakes and everything. So we're going to take our, I'm gonna use my size 16 today, which is my Hologram Silver. Completely submerge her. So if you're new to doing acrylics, what I'm going to show you is going to make it a lot easier when you're using big chunky glitters is you're going to do a super thin, cellophane thin layer of clear acrylic over the whole free edge length that you want, okay? Think of it as you're going to pre-make a tip. Angle the nail down, put the acrylic right there. And then use the belly of the brush and pat it down. And this is going to create an even surface structure for you to apply the glitter to. So that way there's no gaps or any funny, funny things. Clean the brush, go back in a little bit more. Right there. And this is so thin, so, so thin, cellophane thin. And I angle the nail down so that way the acrylic runs towards me. So that way I use the power of gravity to help me shape the phalange. And luckily I did find my crystal clear acrylic. It was sitting here on the desk all along. Beautiful. And you guys, again, I apologize if I can't get to every single comment. Especially when we're sculpting out the phalange, but I will try my best. I'm gonna give her just a quick little stir so that way I can pick up, whoops, some snowflakes and all that delicious glittery fantasy. And I'm going to work in small increments so that way I can place the glitters where I want it, okay? When dealing with such big chunky stuff, and you don't, especially because you don't want to file her off, work in small increments so that way you have more control over what you're doing. And kind of use it wet so that way you can stroke it out and apply where you need her. Add a little star here. Give a little small bead of clear.
how cute that is. Yeah, it's come through Christmas. How pretty that is. If that is not serving you Christmas fantasy realness, I don't know what is. So now I'm gonna add a layer of crystal clear. First around the bigger glitters to fill in any gaps. Before we begin encapsulating everything. You know what, I'm going to take some of the frozen glitter set. And I'm going to encapsulate a big silver sequence too. Just to make her a little bit more. More sparkly. So this is the frozen six pack. That sounds funny. If I can open it. Oh my god, who sealed this in a orangutan? Oh, hard. oh my gosh. There we go. I'm gonna put a silver one here. So look at that, it just adds a little bit more. More What do you guys think? Is that pretty? It's so pretty. One more small silver. So you just need a little bit just to give her that something something. So today on my Keurig, I tried one of my new, like, ones that's supposed to be iced. It's supposed to like be brewed over ice, but I just brewed it in my mug and I was like, whoa, this is really strong. No wonder it says it's supposed to be brewed over ice. Kind of like Vietnamese coffee, it has to go over ice. I think that's what that one was supposed to be like. So this is from the Frozen 6 pack. Works great with glitter mixer and then we use the White Christmas limited edition acrylic. Now we're going to encapsulate everything in crystal clear acrylic. Starting at the cuticle area, angle the nail down. Pick up a medium to wet bead. Lace. And then with the tip of the brush, walk it around the cuticle and then begin to encapsulate.
brownie points to who can guess who's singing this. It's one of my favorite male singers of all time in the English language. So when we get to the free edge, angle the nail at a zero degree angle, so that way our acrylic stays put, and we can build out the length that we want, the free edge. Your curve, yeah, it's come through. Start from the side, kind of build up a nice, even free edge. belly of the brush, pat, 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 side, 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 and then stroke it out. Okay, beautiful. And we're gonna let that begin the polymerization process so we can pinch the nail and get that really beautiful C-curve shape. Because it is one nail, it feels like it takes forever, but when you do all of them, it's not that bad. Good night from Jamaica. Hello, my love. I got my Mr. Pinchy ready so that we can pinch her. So, a little secret to making it really faster. This is what we do when we do damn when we used to compete back in the day. We're gonna take cuticle oil, and for some reason, I don't know why, but it actually helps speed up the polymerization process. It almost acts like a catalyst, especially because I'm so cold-blooded. My dad's doing okay, actually, thank you for asking. He's starting to get out more. Today, he went outside of the house, just right there, like at the uh, front yard. And yes, on Sunday he took a shower by himself. So we're really lucky that, you know, he's he's still be able to do things by himself. And then to pinch, it's always best to pinch without the form, okay? So take off the form like this at the edges. The further away your acrylic is from the finger, the longer it takes to dry. So, rubbing it so that way it dries faster. If we were to do all five fingers, you always start on the third. Get that nice C curve locked. See, so look at that C curve. She's no joke. Nice and skinny. Add 
add me please, not today love, we're not adding anyone today on the video, maybe some other time though. Drowning so that we can shape her up. <laughs> Always roll your brush to a tip a fine sharp point and then we can put the lid on just like that and always store her in your nail cup like this going down so that way if there's any excess monomer running it'll run away from the uh, point of contact in the brush from the resin that is used to glue so that way the nail does not turn yellow okay and then a lot of people ask how do you know or when is an acrylic nail dry you're gonna hit it if she sounds like a hard-boiled egg, she's dry and ready to file. If not, she's not ready. This one, does she sound like a hard-boiled egg? Can you guys sound, hear the sound? She sounds hollow. She's ready to file. Put this one over there. If she sounds hollow, she's not ready. If she sounds like a hard-boiled egg, she's ready. Take my fantastic file, start off with that sidewall, make it nice and straight. Next, the other side. And then the free edge. Down, make sure it wipe bevel that sidewall so that way the seat cover is nice and even all the way through, especially on such a long phalange. What is my nationality? American. Then we're going to begin to shape the phalange. I took the power top bit, go around the cuticle first, and then the three edge. Always start on your weakest side. So, for example, I'm right sided. So, I start filing on the left side and then I go back and I file the left side. No, I start on the left side and then I go back and file the right side. Why do I do that? Because when I go in with the drill like this, the right side will always have more force because that's my stronger side. So, I always start on the weaker side. So, for every time I file the right side, I'm going to file the left side twice. If that makes sense. So that way it has a very beautiful tunnel shape. See? Because the perfect shot shape nail, it should be shaped like a cylinder. That's how you win the first places. So make sure that side is really nice and straight. Take the hand file and file the free edge. Just 
make sure everything is really, really in place and snatched. I remember sometimes said Max puts his back to closer shaping nails, and I do. That comes from all the years of competing. Focus. Do you guys know that back in the day, when we first started doing nails and when we first started competing, we were not allowed to use top coat, we would have to file the nails to a high gloss shine? That's real old school right there. Press number four if you remember high shine button. So next I'm going to take a smoother file. This one is, that one was 100, this is 150. I'm just going to really gently go over wherever I want with the coarser file just to remove any scratches and surface marks so that way the free edge and the shape of the nail is more That pale up paper is no joke, you guys can see, she's already wanting to come off. That's why she sells like crazy. Whoops. Where'd she go? So when people ask, how do I take my nails off every single day, it's because of our peel-off base coat, which is actually no joke, as you guys can see. So let's reattach this to Landry. Uh, where's my internal base? Here she is. She does the gloss with the shiny brush, she's an OG. Shape of she is no joke. Wow, stunning, stunning. So, when you prep your nail properly, she's not going to come off because you're not going to be using peel off face coat. Actually, our student nail brush. This is the Mifers nail brush.
So we're gonna let that dry for a few minutes. Look how straight that is though. That is no joke. And that C-curve, stunning. Does anybody have any questions while we're waiting for her to dry? Set what? Oh, this is silver. Sorry. Look at all that sequence in there. Isn't it stunning? I'm gonna show you all the swatches, all of them. They're so beautiful, you guys. I feel like the picture doesn't do them justice, though. Legit. This is the flash silver, which is made with um, reflective diamond glitter gel. This is the one I'm wearing right now, which is the white. Then this is Miss Red. This is Multi and Miss Silver. Which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Stunning! He's almost dry. I gotta get my smoothie buffer ready. Where are you, Miss Smoothie? So we are going to remove the sharp edges because I don't want to cut myself or anyone. Unless you don't like the point, then for sure don't cut, don't remove the sharp edges in the file. Bye. We're gonna go to the hideout tonight. Really? I know Melissa is because we're the day off. Party too much. Where are you guys going tonight? The hideout? No, it's not. You guys are so mean. Bye. Huh? You. I'm gonna go home and play Pokemon. Ah, 
magnifique. Anglais. So we're going to add a little bit of bling to her. Let's get Miss My Heart Diamond Gel ready. I have my diamonds here ready too for the fantasy. Out. You know what I need? I need opal white diamonds. Look at these. These are the fairy stones in the white opal unicorn. Slaying for the girls, always. We always gotta be ready for the fantasy, for the philanthropy. Fantasy. I want a little star and a little heart. So here is our star. And then we need a heart, a corazon for the Tin Man. Hi from California, hello my love. Those are my favorite Miss Unicorns, no joke. Got my bling tool ready. I'm going to do a cut over the entire nail. It's a set of two only. Slipper realness. See, look how transparent it is. So now let's add some. Gotta have those snowflakes. This acrylic is. She is everything. I see one for more, more, please. You gotta give the children what they want. Oh my gosh, you guys! I think it is so funny when people comment. These are not for children. Quit saying for the children. I'm like, oh, get us some humor. Get us some humor and get yourself a Netflix account and find out what that means because she is living under a rock. That's good. That's, you know, just a few diamonds. Wipe the side, wipe the side, make sure we remove any excess gel so that way she's nice and skinny mini. And let's bake her for a minute. Inside the dancing going up. Can you imagine a full set like this? She is sickening. Let's put that to the 
sides. That way, just fall and you can see the rest of the bedroom. The biggest clutch in the world. What's that little tray called? Her name is Sorting Tray and she comes in a three pack. So pretty, thank you. Let's put that one away too. Maybe she's almost so good. She looks so pretty to the left. Let me show you what she looks like in the left. Oh, pretty nice. And there's the money shot, you guys. Look at that. Wow, she is everything. Some OD EnochCouture.com acrylic sculpting for the fantasy. Well, my loves, I hope you guys enjoyed this demo. It was a lot of fun to sculpt a phalange out. I haven't done it in a little while, so you guys love it and don't forget to check out our limited edition christmas sets there are five different colors and they're super limited edition make sure you order them so that we get them in time for the holidays and what can i say i love you guys so so much stay safe stay out of trouble and i'll see you guys in the next live video bye everybody